I'm super stoked you chose to watch this video today. With all the other amazing YouTube content out there, I'm truly humbled that you chose this video. So I'm gonna do my best to make it a good one. A few weeks back, I made a destructive testing video on a foam pan. And this foam pan already had tile on it. It was tiled, it was grouted, and I dropped a hammer on it. I dropped a tile on it. Uh, I even drove a forklift over it. So it's a really cool video. If you want to see it, I'll put the link in the description so you can check that out after you watch this video. Now, when I made that video, one of you said to me, well, it's a cool video and all, uh, gave me a lot of information, but I would really like to see how it compares to a traditional mortar pan. So you asked and you're gonna receive. I have this mock-up that I built, this display. It's the traditional style mortar bed shower pan with a pan liner, mortar bed, and it's very solid. It's not like foam. And in the, the testing video that I did, you can see here it is. Here's the what I use to do my testing on. And you know, there's a couple forklift marks, and you know, there's a, a tile drop mark, and there's a hammer. So um, you know, this is foam. It's lightweight, it's um, you know, pretty solid, but when I dropped a hammer on it, it punched right through. When I dropped a tile, it punched right through, causing a bunch of damage. And I wanna see what happens on this mortar base pan. So let's get busy. And I'm just gonna start with the hammer, and I'm gonna to try to drop it so the head of the hammer kind of falls at an angle with a lot of uh, force on the tile. You can see, let me turn down the exposure here a little bit. There is the result from dropping the hammer. It left a chip in the tile, but it didn't cr crack any grout around it. It was just damage to one tile. So the hammer dropping on the porcelain tile still caused it to chip, but no damage underneath to the pan. That tile could be easily replaced. Okay, let's see what happens when I drop this 12 by 24 porcelain tile onto the pan again. So this would be about the height that, you know, if you're working in a shower and you were to uh, drop a tile again, I'm gonna try to give it some force and drop it on the corner. And I hope I don't hurt myself. Maybe I'll go, I'll go a little closer to the edge here. Okay, so similar scenario, dropping it right on the tile caused damage to the tile. There's the hammer, so there's the hammer, and there's the tile. It did cause the tile to break, but I don't believe there's any damage to the base. Okay, so in conclusion, you can see that dropping those heavy objects onto a shower floor tile, no matter what base you have, will damage the tile, but it won't punch through the waterproofing membrane like in one of these foam pans. Now this shower pan could have also had curdy membrane on it. That's how we usually build them. We do a mortar base and then curdy membrane over it. And while that tile would be damaged, you would still be able to take the tile out and do the repair. I'm not so sure you could do that on foam because it actually punctures all the way through the waterproofing, all the way through the foam. And I think the pan is pretty much compromised at that point. So in my opinion, a mortar base is more durable. It holds up to more wear and tear, not only while you're working on it, but afterwards too, if you were to drop something on it. So I'm so glad you asked these questions in the comments below. It gives me great ideas to make videos. And I just love our community that we have, that we're all sharing this information and getting better what, at what we do. So try to carry that message into your life. Um, I promise it will make you feel better. Have some unity, have some community wherever you can find it. Last but not least, I love you. I love being your tile coach. We'll see you on the next video.